Cool, so as was rightly pointed out, um, I'm a young entrepreneur. Um, I'm currently 20 years old and um, I run four companies. Um, I'll get on to what I do with it and kind of how I operate. So this was my first business. Um, so at age 14, I uh, went into GCSEs. I'm sure a few of you guys who are 14 just started GCSEs just now. And um, studied business for the first time. And the one thing I found was that it was quite boring and stifling and it was all lecture based. So come into a lesson, the teacher would be like, this is what a market is, this is what a product is, this is what this is. And it never was about like, yo, let's create this thing, let's go out and do this. And I was really inspired by the fact that all the young people who were in my year group and in the playground used to sell things from their backpacks. And some of them would get caught and some of them wouldn't get caught. And I was sat there thinking, what's an interesting way for me to make some cash at school, but not get caught? Is there a way to legalize this gap in the market? So I went to her teacher three times um, to her teacher and she said, no, like, it's impossible. Like, you're not going to be selling in my school playground. You're not going to be feeding the kids sweets. Um, but as soon as I started using the words that we were learning in, in the lesson, like, look, there's a secondary market here, black market. Like, let me and my mates run the shop. It was like, OK, cool. Like, we'll let you try it out. And that's when that story of what they, they, just, they just told us um, of us making 15,000 in the first year happened. Um, me and four friends run our own shop. But it wasn't until the next following year when I taught the younger years how to run their own shop that I realised actually some teaching people and working with people can be better than being the person who does it all yourself. It wasn't until the end of the year when they came back and they like high five me and they're like, look, thank you for the opportunity. This was really cool, really fun. That something connected with me and it was like that smile that you kind of get from seeing someone else smile. So I thought, you know what? At 16, 15, that, that was a moment for me where I call it the penny drop. There's a moment when the penny dropped and I was like, you know, this is something I really want to do. I, I want to work every day and feel inspired and feel like I'm laughing all the time, feel like there's something to do. The brand I work for nowadays and every day is Super Academy and the, the theme behind it is getting talented people, whether they're 12 years old, whether they're 15, whether they're 25, whether they're 45, to really figure out what they really want to do and then help them on their journey to either get into work or get into creating whatever they want to do. And something that I've got to just highlight to you guys is, as soon as you leave um, secondary school and leave college and leave university and have your degree, um, the real world out there really depends more than just a piece of paper. It comes down to the communication skill you have, the, the amount of experience you have in kind of communicating and doing different things. So training is like super important for me. It's all good, you know, being a star and being so, so super talented, but Unless you're training yourselves, then you're, you're really getting in the mind frame that, look, I'm gonna build myself out to kind of take myself to another level. You have to put the work in to really kind of hit the door running. So once you leave here, you've got that penny drop moment and you understand, okay, cool, you wanna be a writer, what do you do? You go look at some platforms, you understand some stories. The next part is to perfect the craft. So if you wanna write, you better start writing. If you wanna act, start acting. If you wanna be a business person, start trading. Failure is, the key to success. No one has ever become successful by not failing. I think when you fail, when you make a mistake, no matter how small, how massive it is, it helps you to kind of think about, cool, how do you put, re like, rectify it? So next time you can just, you know what to put in place. The only thing you can take from me is drive, having purpose, trying to find a penny drop moment, working hard, building a team around you and listening and being inspired. Like I watch a lot of content, I'm always trying to learn different things, but really, really important to like, figure out what are your interests, because uh, as much as I'm glamorizing it and I'm saying, look, we've done all these great things, like this year, there's, there's been weeks where I've left the office at 2 a.m. I haven't stopped working until 4 a.m. I'm back up at 7 a.m. And you don't have the energy to do that every single day for six, seven, eight months, that grueling energy, unless you really like it and you know, oh, you're working towards something, because that's what keeps you going. Because there's, there's times when it gets really tough and you're like, oh my God, I don't want to live anymore. Oh my God, I don't want to do this anymore. And you can't quit because people are dependent on you. So you got to make sure that what you're working on is something that you really want to do.